in this lab we want to develop robots that can interact with people in a natural way. So these robots need to be able to operate on very different tasks. It needs to be very easy to tell them what they should be doing. And also they should be able to do this in very different environments. In this demo, the Leonardo robot performs a reasonably simple block stacking task where it detects the different kinds of blocks, their colors, and then decides on which block it wants to stack on top of each other. We were able to train and develop the robot in simulation. We were using the Isaac simulation environment in which we were able to test our algorithms, to fine tune the control algorithms. As a result, the robot moves in a very fluent way. Also, we were able to train even the visual perception algorithms. The whole idea of using simulation environments only works if the simulation is accurate enough to really reflect what's going on in the real physical world. You need to have the simulation such that it can simulate how the robot manipulator moves if you send certain control commands to it. It needs to also simulate how objects move when the robot, for example, touches them. So the physics have to be right. And at the same time, all of this has to be done in a photorealistic way because we're also using the synthetically generated image data to train our perception algorithm. And for that, we're using real-time ray tracing capabilities such that the objects have the right kind of reflections, we can change the lighting conditions, and all of this looks really the same way as it would look like in the real world, which makes it possible for the deep networks that we train on them to also be applicable readily in the real environment. Isaac Sim is going to drastically change how we go about developing this next generation of robots. Rather than having to program everything by hand and testing everything on the real hardware, which can be very expensive, time consuming and even dangerous, we can then do all these tasks in the simulation, which will provide the experience that these robots need to make in order to learn to perform all these complex tasks so much faster and also easier. Thank you.